briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1995, the Supreme Court of Rhode Island heard the case of State v. Stewart, which focused on the concept of second-degree felony murder. The idea that if someone intentionally commits a dangerous felony that results in another person's death, they can be charged with second-degree felony murder. Tracy Stewart was convicted of second-degree murder for the death of her son, Travis. She appealed, arguing that the charge should have been no greater than involuntary manslaughter. During the week prior to Travis's death, Stewart and two others consumed cocaine for several days in the same apartment as Travis. When they ran out of money, the two others committed a robbery to obtain more cocaine. Travis ultimately died from dehydration, which the state argued was due to neglect, while the defense claimed it was caused by gastroenteritis. Stewart's appeal was denied, and her conviction for second-degree felony murder was upheld. The court found that she had no legal justification for causing her son's suffering and that his death occurred during the commission of a dangerous felony. The defendant's addiction was considered as a mitigating factor in her sentencing, but intent and knowledge were not deemed significant factors in liability for the crime. Ultimately, the court held that the approach used in California to determine whether a felony is inherently dangerous should not be adopted in Rhode Island. Instead, the court concluded that the defendant had no legal justification or excuse for causing her son to suffer, thus upholding her conviction for second-degree felony murder. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.